All right, here we go again. What are we going to be rigging up and making today? Well, I found a really cool way to reuse old dog collars and leashes to hold my water containers into place. So right here, I've got a metal line brooder. So these are like super magnets I picked up. They actually came off a... I think they're like a Tempur-Pedic or one of them air beds. Regardless, they're one heck of a magnet. And I have taken a dog collar and I have attached these magnets to it. And that is holding my water into place. And it holds really good. Like they're really strong magnets. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of good ideas on how to reuse an old dog collar you've got laying around. Or even a strap or something similar to it. Now this right here. This isn't a dog collar, but it is like a dual dog walking leash that I do not use. I honestly don't even know where I got it from. But right here is the magnets I'm using. It's already got a little screw there. So I've got a couple of flat washers. I found the nuts to fit it. And it works really well. So what I've already done here is actually cut this off flush bent this bracket and it fits right in there perfect on this end then you know i want to keep the adjustable strap part i came over here folded the leash put some glue on it and then what i did to make this hole perfect i have got a soldering gun which that will melt a hole. A lot of this stuff is like some type of plastic. So it melts through it, makes a perfect hole. And all you do is just stick this over the screw. Now, this right here to get this to fold over perfect, I've already used this one. But what I would do is take a couple of washers, put a screw through it, clamp it down and let it dry for a couple of days. Let's say you don't, you can't use magnets. But what you can do is dry this, let this cure, then put a washer over it and screw it to your pin if you've got a dog collar. And then, then all you gotta do is undo the clasp in the center and basically just undo it, remove the water. Or if you've got a feeder you need to hold up into place, a dog collar would work perfect for that. But since I'm using magnets, I don't really have to have the clasp. All I need is this adjustable part on the end. So that way I can make it fit around my water properly. But this one's pretty much done. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another one. But just a couple more ideas. I'm going to throw these at you. If you, if you want to kind of use this concept, you know, you could take this off or you can even keep this part on it and use this clasp to hook it to something. And then fold the other side over like I did here. Put a washer over it. Screw it to your coop. And then just have this hook portion right here to just pop it off. And pull it on and off easily. But I need to get my soldering iron going. I need to get this piece cut off. And we're going to make another one of these this afternoon. All right, so had to warm my glue up in my pocket. I got my Gorilla Glue flat washer. I've got this sitting here and I've got my nut off to the side. So, and I've got my soldering iron warming up over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a little bit of glue and put it on here. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna rub it all over this. It's gonna soak into the uh, material yeah, I'm going to put just a little bit more on here. I 
and I'm going to fold it right at about three quarters of an inch and it's going to feel kind of wet and that's all right now the very very sketchy part where I'm going to try not to burn myself today the soldering iron is going to go right through it it's melting now while this is still hot and melting I'm going to take it slide it over the hole get my flat washer mash it down over it because it's cool outside and that's going to cool down really quick good thing about using the soldering iron because this stuff's pretty much like a plastic when you melt through it it pretty well starts hardening immediately and clamping it down like this it's going to flatten it probably would have been a good idea to get a socket to do this but that's all right and now I'm going to tighten this down as hard as I can because I want it to flatten that glue out and I want it to where I just soldered through it get it good and flat I've got that just about as tight as I can get it. There's one side done. Go ahead and get the other side done real quick. Again, and I've got some little hairs coming off there. And again, I'm going to put a hole right through it and wall it out just a little bit, real quick. Use this other magnet. over it mash it down really fast before it starts cooling oh man give me a hard time no kind of messed these screws up a little bit on this one I was drilling them out. It is not. There we go. Give me a hard time screwing on there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. All right. Now, we're good to go. Literally that simple. I'm going to let these dry good. I mean, I could use them immediately, but if I let them dry, I can pull it apart, and uh, it's going to be classed down really well. Now that we've got a good idea of how to make these, let's say you don't have the magnets. You can get you a couple screws, and you can do the same thing here, but what I would suggest doing is getting a bolt with a couple of flat washers on both sides, Clamp this together, let it dry for a couple of days, then pull it off, put a screw through it, keep one of the, and just reuse the washers and attach it to your, your coop. And this one's got a buckle on it, so it works, you know, you can adjust it, fit around whatever feeder or water you want to hold up and make it very easy to remove and to clean. Um, just a really quick and simple way to reuse something that you might have laying around. And even on this one right here, since I do have the magnets, this one's ideal for me. I can adjust it here, and I can just pull the magnets off the wall. 
but here's a nifty and good little trick on how to make something out of you know some old dog collars you might have laying around all right and there it goes and that i mean that would not come off there these magnets are so strong that water is not moving so now we've got a good one made to hold this water and i've got a second one made for my chick brooder so we are good to go on our watering system coming up this next spring yep and they're talking about it they're ready for me to hatch some chicks well, I hope my little dog collar trick helps somebody out out there. You know, it's just a stuff you might have laying around the house and can use it and put it to great use. Uh, I don't even know how I came up with that idea, to be quite honest with you. Just pedal around and was thinking of a way how I could get my water secured. And, you know, you'd be amazed what you can use from stuff you just got laying around the house. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, and... I'll see if I can come up with some more uh, tips and tricks to help you with something else in the future.